Welcome back to another edition of the Course Creation Incubator Podcast. I'm Gina Onativia, your host, your bulldog, your cheerleader, all rolled into one to help you get through the course creation process, get to the finish line, put your course out there. Now, I'm so excited. This is a great time because I've just wrapped up my six week accelerator live launch. And if you're listening right now and you're one of my students, welcome, excited to have you. We sold out the program. I couldn't be more proud of what the team has accomplished. And by the way, if you're listening right now and you're thinking, damn Gina, I miss out on the six week accelerator. Yeah, this is the last time I'm doing it live. However, there will be another iteration of the six week accelerator. If you want to get in on that new structure, likely launching in the summer, I'll put a link to the wait list in the show notes. Now, the awesome thing about launching about live launching is how many people you get to connect with, how many potential students that you get to hear their stories. And for me, all about their courses. So I get to connect with so many potential course creators who are ready to put themselves out there and put something on the line. And I love hearing everyone's different missions and ideas, and it gets me excited. It inspires me. So one of the things I want to talk about in this podcast is one aspect, one element of this launch that I think really made the difference in filling up this group. And that's making it personal. Now, my mentor, my client, my friend, my storytelling coach, Bo Eason, talks about this all the time. There's power in making it personal, especially when you're sharing your story. There's real power in when you're talking up your program to someone and making it personal and specific for that student. Because when it comes down to it, well, we want to hear about ourselves, right? There's nothing like hearing your own name and making it personal makes it meaningful for them. There's power and impact in that, and they can see how to apply your course and program specifically to them. It's important that that light bulb goes off for them because a lot of times when somebody's thinking about buying your course or your program, they're thinking, is this right for me? They're trying to see themselves in it. You've built the framework and you say, come on in. And they ask themselves, well, do I fit in this house? Is it for me? Are there other people like me in this house? Now, when you make it personal, they can see themselves inside your program. And it's a powerful tactic that I think really moves the needle when it comes to selling your course. There are three ways that I've made it personal during this specific promotion during this campaign. So I want to talk through how I made it personal so you can do it in your own campaigns. Okay. The first way is to make it personal with your masterclass. So I did two webinars as part of this campaign and I did it a little differently. So the typical webinar is the zoom webinar format, whatever software you're using, and you only see the teacher, you may or may not have a chat that's working, but really you're only seeing that one face and it's really easy to hide in the shadows. I'm sure you've all signed up for webinars where you either were quiet in the back or maybe listening in the background or you were just hoping to get the replay. So I really wanted to get a interactive masterclass going and I chose to do a zoom meeting format. In other words, it's more interaction. You see faces, there was an active chat, uh, people could comment because it was important to me that it was a workshop. So when you join the six week accelerator, you workshop. It's exactly like those master classes where you see faces, people are interacting, you're part of a community and a group. So that was really important to me that people see that up front and they saw that I'm coaching you while I'm coaching you. I'm seeing your face. I'm seeing your expressions. I'm seeing your reactions. One of my favorite things to do as part of this campaign was get the hot seats going. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But then when the hot seats were going, talking to people face to face over zoom and seeing their expressions and seeing their reactions and the ah ahas that were happening at the time or the questions, the puzzling faces that were happening at the time too. Like to me, that's priceless because they get to see that interaction with me as a coach. And then I get to feed off them and their energy in terms of what they want to do as course creators. Now, some people might not like that format. You as a course creator might just want to offer a zoom webinar. You say, Gina, I'm really a lecture style type person. That's okay. But this is an extension of my brand. I want to make it personal by seeing your face and making it like that workshop kind of feel, which I mentioned earlier. 
So that's up to you, whether you want to make it a workshop versus a, a typical webinar. All right. The second way I make it more personal is I ask for those hot seats, which I just mentioned a minute ago. I say, fill out the application so I can coach you in the moment. Give me your biggest question about course creation, and I'll make it applicable specifically for you, for your situation. And I got some really damn good hot seats this time. And the applications in terms of people who are worried about pricing strategy, or they had fears they wouldn't sell, or they just didn't know where to start. And they laid it all out for me as part of these applications. And also what I loved about these hot seats is if you're listening right now and you're part of my community, you guys already have an idea of what you want to do with your course creation. I don't need to tell you what an online course is or where to go. Many of you already had some really solid ideas and it was just a matter of unlocking a little piece to get you unstuck and moving forward. So I did these hot seats and I answered these questions and you can't get more personal than that, right? So I taught a little bit in the masterclass and then I went to these hot seats to workshop specific course creation scenarios. Now, well, what's the benefit of that? Well, one, they get that personal feedback right in the moment. And then two, everyone else listening gets to hear, ah, oh, okay, this is how maybe I should approach my price point. This is how I should approach my benefit statements. Oh, this is how I should validate my offer a little bit. Everybody gets to hear that and go through that additional coaching. So think about that. Think about how you can offer that coaching component to whatever you're doing in terms of your promotion. Because think about it, there are a lot of coaches out there and most, I don't know most, many don't offer free coaching. So this will make you stand out. It makes it easier for students to say yes to your course because they've seen or experienced your coaching style and they'll feel more comfortable making that commitment and also, lastly, you're already offering incredible value. So whether they buy or not, they're walking away with a great experience and most likely they'll share that with others. And by the way, a lot of the hot seats ended up buying. I had a pretty high percentage on that because they got that coaching in the moment. Okay, the third way I make it personal is I offer to make videos. If anybody has a question in the emails that I'm sending out, I give a PS, hey, if you're on the fence, you have a question, reply to this email and I'll make you a video. I was making a series of videos for the launch because I know what this is about. People are saying, well, I just wanna make sure the program is right for me. Everyone again, wants to make sure that the house is a fit. They walk in, they see the furniture, is it comfy, is it the time they like? <laughs> are they gonna be able to eat the food in the pantry and feel comfortable? They wanna make sure they're a fit. And I wanna make sure that they feel good about that. And by the way, I did get some people emailing me and they weren't a fit. They were either further down the road or they already had a course or they weren't quite there yet. And I love saying to people, that's okay. I'd love to work with you in the future, but you're not quite there or the accelerator is not quite right for you. Either way, by answering their questions, I get to let them know that it's right for them or it's not. So there's resolution there. And while I know you all want more students, we also want the right students, the students who are going to get outstanding results from your course. So this is a good service to potential buyers, but it's also building your business as a course creator because people, you know, have integrity that they can trust you and your students are more likely to get those great results, which will continue to build your business because you're saying yes to those who are a great fit. Another way that I offer some feedback is I say, you can hit me up on chat. So if you went to the sales page at all in the lower right, there's an icon and you click on that. And I use Drift. I use a free version of Drift and people can text with me one-on-one. -on -one. They can message with me in the moment. And I love having Drift. Like I think that's a must when you're doing any kind of promotion to give people that feedback form to catch you in the moment. Hopefully this was helpful to you and you think about ways to make your own campaigns a little more personal, whether it's one through making your masterclasses a little more personal or two, doing a hot seat and coaching in the moment, or three, offering those videos for feedback and also having a chat function on your page. I hope you enjoyed this episode and it inspired you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss one course creation tip. And I will see you next week. And until then, go create, be you and be brilliant and get your course done.